Hello and welcome back to another exciting episode of Mind Test Gameplay of Sorts. Yeah, we're out at the test world here and gonna cover the very, very, very basics of creating your own mod and building a garage. So let's go. And if you like what you see here, please consider liking and subscribing. Greatly appreciated. Yeah. All right. So what we're going to show here is I've been doing some blending work with some different, some different kind of rocks, compressed cobblestone, more blocks, um, goop blocks, pavement and basalt. Kind of looks kind of cool to use over by my orchard instead of just compressed cobblestone. Yeah, that's not what we're showing today. What we are showing today is a couple additions that I've been working on. I created my own mod. However, it's not, it's not anywhere ready for release yet, but it works. Let's climb this, I love this rope. Look at it. That's so cool. Okay. As you can see here, these are my blocks. Um, however, to get them to work, one way of getting your own textures into the game is that you could take a texture that you have that you created and you could kind of call it something else and putting it, put it into a texture folder. And for example, if I take if I go into spruce, you'll see here there's spruce wood and spruce tree planks. So if I take that spruce tree planks, and that is more trees, spruce wood. So I took my texture and put it on there. Yeah. However, that causes a problem. Because if you ever get rid of that mod, or if you want the original texture, you can't have it. So you, it'll either go back to whatever it was, or, you know, you have to, you have to live without it. So what I've done is I finally found a bunch of tutorials and I'll link them in the show notes, um, from Nathan and, um, I can't pronounce the other person's name, but Octanir, Octanin, yeah, it'll be, a links to their videos will be in the show notes because I'm not going to, um, like rehash something that's already been done, but I'm going to show you the very, very basics of how I got started. Now, my mod is called R block spelled real goofy like, and these are my four blocks. So I have Applewood, Birchwood, spruce wood and willow wood. Now these are really, really cool because they work. There's that rope. They work with the, um, circular saw or table saw this down here, circular saw. So if I open up the circular saw and I take one of these, one of my four blocks here and put that in there, look at that. It works. Very cool. This is my texture and very simple modding that I've done using other people's tutorials, going into, um, also going into their, you know, different mods and looking how they did it. So we can put that there. And there's a lot of different things. And also it works with the screwdriver. Very nice. There's some kind of weird tables. They work. So how I did this, you ask, <laughs> is after watching these videos, and I was, I was creating my own textures. These are textures that I've created off of a, um, an actual piece of wood. And they actually, 
do fit together nicely. So I, I pretty much got the seams worked out. So, you know, they, they don't look off. If you know, notice that you look over here, these seamless textures and they look real good. Anywhere you look here, they've accomplished that. So these are almost 100% done. What this entails is different folders in the mod pack. Now I'm missing the license file. So before anybody says anything, but these aren't released yet. So if you go into, if you go into another one, you'll see license.txt. And that basically outlines the license. But the, this is the basic structure of what you're gonna find usually. You're gonna have a textures folder. You're gonna have a sounds folder if you use sounds. You're gonna have, you know, whatever, whatever else is gonna be in there. Like here's a, here's a more elaborate one with a bunch of different mods. Um, all the Lua's configuration files, they'll all be in there. So basically, I have a depends file. And it depends on default, stairs, and more blocks. Because more blocks has the uh, circular saw. So it kind of needs that there. A description. What does it do? The init Lua, which is the actual code. Uh, Mod.conf, that's just the name of the mod. So the mod is our block and my textures. And I'm not doing anything fancy. I'm not doing uh, multiple sides. That's something I want to get into. But how, how this works, it's, it's, it's so simple, and I can't believe it's taken me this long just to add a simple block. So, node definition. MindTest.register underscore node. The block name. And this is just every, every mod that you look into, every, every init.lua, you're going to see something very similar. MindTest.Register.Node, Lapis, Lapis Block. This is from the Lapis mod. And this person is doing, um, you know, uh, top, bottom, and sides, and transform, and drops, which is uh, another thing. So this is just the bare basics. I haven't even scratched the surface yet. And this is where I'm coming in, is that, I'm going to do like videos that show how this mod is progressing and how anybody can do it. I'm an SQL programmer. So, you know, I, I've never touched Lua before this, but if you're, if you're uh, acquainted with any um, programming language, you should be able to pick up the format and, and how thing, how they want things. Um, so uh, mind test that register node underscore node and the mod is called our block colon and what is the what is the block spruce wood here's my description spruce wood so that is when you hover over it in your inventory it shows the title and here's the the title is the um the tile is the actual texture what groups it belongs to and if you leave off the s you won't be able to break it Anyway, <laughs> you have to use world edit to get rid of it. I accidentally left the S off. And be patient. Sounds, I'm using the default dot node underscore sound underscore stone. Say that three times fast. Defaults. And then closing off the, the brackets. So this is the basic template. And I have four in there for the four different woods. And then to get him to work with Stairs Plus, and I've been looking at this because of other mods, how they do it. I've always wondered how one mod will do it and one mod you can't do it. And I'll show that in a second. And if you go to the Stairs Plus mod in more blocks, there's an API uh, description. It actually tells you what to add. And with a little finagling, uh, Stairs Plus, and I don't have an if statement in here. So right now, this actually depends on, um, my depends on text is, file is wrong because I have a question mark here, which makes it optional. And I have to take that out. I'm running the mod, so it doesn't matter. If, if I were to take more blocks out, this whole thing would fail because it's looking for it. It needs it. There's no if statement. If, so th there's a way to, if this mod is present, then do this. And that's where the stairs plus registration comes in. 
So uh, register underscore all R block Applewood. What it is, the description, the the texture, what groups it belongs to for for uh, breaking and stuff like that, and what it sounds like. That's it. That wasn't hard at all. And I, you know, I was so I could I was figuring out the textures and how I wanted, you know, how I wanted my textures to look. There's my applewood, birchwood, sprucewood, and willowwood. But, you know, then, like I said, I was doing it the, not, not that I was doing it the lazy way, because when you do a, when you do a, um, when you do a texture pack, all you're doing is you're, you're using different, um, you're using different textures that are labeled the same way. Oh, I just changed the note underneath. There we go. So that's all it is. But I want my own textures. I want to be able to do my own thing. So that is how that works. So the, the, it's going to get interesting. Trust me. So, <laughs> but yeah, so that works. And those are, those are my little, uh, I love this this rope. I already said that. Here's the standalone table saw. Put that in there. Grab some. I love these. You could do, there's a lot of different things that you could do with these basic shapes that really, I don't like that, that really, um, can set your builds apart. That's the word I'm looking for. And I, I love using these over in the concrete house. You'll see um, that I created this staircase out of stone and it's in concrete, something similar to that. And that looks real cool because you got these stairs that, that kind of do that. Or you have floating stairs, you could have glass there. So that works. What did that do? I turned my particles back on because they were cool. Other than that, what we are going to do now is we're going to build a garage. So, and the other thing that's really, really cool is that you can take your, you could get real creative with the sounds. There we go. We're back. You can get real creative with the sounds, like uh, when you walk on it. I mean, you can do some really, really cool stuff with these mods, and that's what I—that's what I'm trying to do. So, okay, in magic of magic of editing. So, one thing I left out, and, and that's all done in the text editor. So, this is—I'm uh, using Text Wrangler on Mac, but you can use uh, Atom. You can use Anything that, you know, this, this supports Lua, the Lua language. Um, Adam is real good because if you, if you want to get into it with the um, auto-completion, uh, if you're learning, if you're on Linux, you have Geary, there's a bunch of different IDs. You could even write this stuff in a text editor. I mean, it, just a simple, but it has to be text. And then name it, you know, init.lua. The... Like I said, I'm, I'm just barely scratching the surface. So I'm learning. This is all I've learned so far. <laughs> but it, it's, it's really, really neat. And after you get your, your directory structure, and we've already shown that in previous videos, you know, this is the mods folder in my, in my game folder. Here's all the mods that I'm using. So, you know, that's how that works. And now we're back at the uh, beachside house. I cleaned up that area. So I moved everything out and I cleaned that window up, reinstalled the window and moved it back. And now you can see there's no connected glass. It works. I love that art display. So what we're going to do here is I added on a back door. I kind of figured, you know, it's, it's very impractical. It's very impractical to have to walk all the way around the house, all the way up to the roadway. Not very realistic now, is it? No. So I created 
a back door. It was a perfect area back here. Put in some double doors and a little pathway out of concrete, a little overhang, some lights. And it comes, it just comes up here. This is this was all here. There's a horse on my roof. Uh-huh. And just some concrete stairs. I'm gonna put some flowers down here. Make it real pretty like. And you come up here and there's a driveway. So there's our road. There's the apple orchard over here, the end of the line, and the road. So we're gonna put a very basic garage up because everything needs a garage. So I'm going to mimic the house. So we need three. The garage door is actually three. So we're gonna go here, we're gonna go here. Because the, the door is actually the door is actually three. And that will be under my doors. So see what we got here. There it is. There's a door. There's my block. That's my block. I created that block. <laughs> so <laughs> like it matters. <sighs> I am out of it today. I don't know why. It's this weather. So two days ago in, in Chicago, it was um, 50 degrees. And then the previous, the, the, or the next day, back up. There we go. The next day, it dropped down. Yeah, I'll just leave the truck in the road here. It, it, not, it went down to like 20 degrees and snowed. Man, something happened there. How far? Yeah, I want to go this far back. So there's my door. I love this door. And I don't know if I'm going to make... This garage. I don't want, I don't want a real intrusive garage. Because all it is is just going to be... All it's going to be is just something to... To house the... You know, to keep the car. Now, one, two, three, four, five, six. Ha, 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 ha. That'll work. I didn't want to do that. Yeah, I don't want to make this thing real huge. This is just a very basic carport. There's only one car. So yeah, and it's only going to be, it's only going to be three high. There's one, no, actually two, three, and we're going to put a roof on it. And this is what I mean about no, no property is ever finished. We're going to put a window in here. We might move, we might move the wall out. I don't know. Because I'm not liking this side. It doesn't give, it doesn't give a lot of, um, it does not make a lot of space for the person in the car if you're, if you're role playing it. So we are going to move this out one. Okay, that worked. Because then we'll, we'll just come in the back here. And that solves that problem. Yeah. So, it, like, I, like I said, it, it, never, it never fails. No house is ever done. All my properties are, um, they're always, they're all works, works in progress kind of deal. Which is fine. It's part of the enjoyment of building because you're you're never really done. I turned particles back on just because. So now what I want to do is we're going to mimic. Um, we are going to mimic 
our actual house. Yeah, I know it's not quite... Not quite... Um, ideal. But it looks good. I've done this before on the other house here. So we're going to stack this one. In the look direction, and then we are going to go. We need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We're going to stack that seven, put our roof on real quick. Bam! I like that. And then one and two. I'm I'm being very lazy. These blocks do not like to um they don't like to stack properly when you use the hat when you use the um the slabs. So we're going to just get this done real quickly so we can perfect. Perfect. Come on. There we go. Let's see how that looks. Not bad. It's just, like I said, it's just something very, very easy, very simple, just to hide, not to hide, but to, to protect, to protect the automobile. And I like putting my doors here to add character. That should be enough. That's where the door is going to be. Do we have enough room for a window? And a window. Let's go get our truck. Because why not? <laughs> we, need, we need the truck anyway. We have to see if this thing fits. We have to role play this before putting on... Before... I don't know if this is going to fit in here. I can't remember. I've been having a problem with the vehicles, Mutt. I've been having a problem with the with the vehicles mod in that it doesn't want to control. Am I hanging out? Oh, look at that. Oh, it just fits. It just fit. That's a tight fit. There you go. And let's give it a door. Let's use my favorite door. Where's my favorite door? Oh, I'm I'm looking for my favorite door, and it's it's like it's gone. Where'd it go? And then we're just gonna give. Uh, let's see, white baked clay stairs. I love doing this because it adds depth. My mouse is still sticking, and we're gonna put a window in over here. And we're just going to follow the same uh, just the same thing on did it go? Yeah, it went. Cool. I don't need lights on the garage because I have it actually there. That'll work. I don't know. Let me know. Let me know what you guys think. I kind of like that. It needs, it, it like needs some definition. Or it needs a, um, oh, I don't know. It needs some, it needs some more character. I think that's going to be too much. Yeah, it's going to be too much. It blends in. I'm going to have to work on that. But that's basically the idea. Now I could, you know, I could not use that door and I could use my typical doors that I do, but I like these doors and I might change the way that that looks. So you're going to have to, you're going to have to beautify this or make it interesting, you know, for yourself and what you really want to do with it. We're going to put a light up here. I don't think I can. 
that might be too yeah that doesn't look right but that does it's too big but it does need a light so let's give it a lantern and it's not in there um is it under light I think it's under wall there it is it's a wall lamp that makes no sense let's see how these look oh You know, it does it doesn't really need it because I have enough lights in the area. I have the I have this light over here, I have this lamp post here. Looks real cool. I need a light for the inside though. So we are going to we are going to add what I usually do. Oh, I know what I did wrong. That means I'm going to have a problem on the inside. Hmm. Don't know. So we're just going to real quickly so I can finish this off. So, you know, let me know and let me know in comments if anybody else is going to try creating their own mods. If anybody does know how to make mods, if they will, if I'm going about this the right way, obviously there's there's always better ways of doing something so it, it, you know they as we were taught with sql is there's no truly wrong way there's just a lot better ways of doing something <laughs> so yeah oh no why did i do that you know I, i'm I'm not going to play with this. Okay, so we have here... I just picked it up. So we have here... Our basic garage... With... This, this car is a little bit too... Um, this truck is a little bit too big for this garage. Try this again. Yeah, I'm sti I'm sticking out. You know what? We're role playing it. <laughs> that's what I'm gonna do with that right now, because that that's way too big. We need like a Porsche or something in there, and and try to do something with the truck. But that's uh, now it's not gonna let me in. Nice. Nice. I do like that you, and being that this is a beachfront property, it kind of works. So it's just a very simple garage that you would see. And it looks a little bland from the front. I'm going to dress it up. But basically, this house is done. I don't think there's anything more I can do with it. We got this nice little garage area up here. We got this garden area over here. And it comes in. So this is uh this is completed. And I, I'm so happy with this art gallery type feel to it. So that's gonna do it. Um this my this this went well over the amount of time that I wanted to spend on this. But like I said, basically for the mods, um yeah, there's my block. And it's the R block slab. So that's the very, very, very basics of making a mod work. And then you just put, like I said, you, you know, you put the mod pack, you name it what you want, you put it in the directory that you want. And that's one very easy way of getting all the different block textures that you that one might have 
so you could use them without having to re um to rename somebody else's block to get it to work so that's going to do it um We'll have more updates on that. Thank you for joining. Uh, if you have any have any tips, questions, criticisms, whatever, leave them in the show uh, in the comments. I will link to Nathan's video on uh, creating a mod and the other video for the um, the format, the the directory structure that you're going to want to do before doing that for reference, and we will go from there. And hopefully in the next couple of videos, I will have more progress on my modern building blocks uh, mod. Hey, there's the bees. So that's going to do it. Everybody have a warm, safe, dry week. Until next video. Goodbye.